from my early days, whether it was Swadesh or whether it was Rangde Basanti, those were the breakout stories that appealed to me. I think people definitely want a certain sense of context and a certain sense of realism. So firstly, I don't think I, I, if I have an investment mindset, I'll, I'll crash and burn. What kind of movies you create, you feel yeah, like, oh, so this is going to work I, in a movie? I think I understand consumers and I keep wanting to understand consumers in a different manner, mm-hmm. number one. Number two, I want to be true to storytelling in the way I want to necessarily do it. Because what I, is that? Like, what do you understand about consumers? Like, yeah, so obviously today, more than ever before, outside of the fact that this is an entertainment sector, I think people definitely want a certain sense of context and a certain sense of realism. So I think the movies we've made versus, see, I came from the outsider. So being an mm-hmm. outsider, to me, the song, dance, family approach, and you know everything goes, and either that or the dishung dishung, or just hardcore, nonsensical, but it works. Mm-hmm. You know, hardcore, leave your brains behind. <laughs> Yeah. I, I, did, I can't relate with that. I wouldn't be able to make it better. I'd only make it worse. So I stayed out of it. So then, therefore, from my early days, whether it was Swadesh or whether it was Rangde Basanti, those were the breakout stories that appealed to me. Right. And I guess maybe to that extent in those early days, I do believe that I was part of the formula that allowed it to happen. Maybe mm. if I hadn't backed it, maybe somebody else would not have backed it. And therefore, it may not have happened. But being the outsider gave you the sense that if I stay with my values. Now, I was not doing it saying I want to talk about an audience that I don't know exists. I don't make movies myself because if I did, I would not make 99% of the movies that I would make. Because what I want to see if I want relaxing versus what I want to see from what I want to do as a passion are two different things. So to me, I think getting the message across, having a sense of realism, that doesn't mean that everyone should do that. But I'm saying there's so many people doing the other stuff in any case that one more person doing that doesn't make any sense. So that's my way of storytelling. Now, when I was running it as a business to what I'm doing today with RSVP as a passion are two different things. And the Mm -hmm. reason is when you're running a business, 50, 60 percent of your decisions are what you have to do. Yeah. And 40 percent what you want to do when you're doing it as a passion. 100% 100% better be what you want to do and nothing that you have to do because it's a passion. Yeah. You don't have to it's do it. You fun, don't have yeah. to get up in the morning and play golf. You don't have to go to the squash court. You don't have to play chess or whatever else you want to do. So that is a very liberating sense of being able to then do what you want to do because you can say no 99 times. When you're running a business, you can't say no 99 times. <laughs> <laughs> 